sponsored by Warby Parker. Get great looking and affordable eyewear at warbyparker.com slash cow. I see people breaking the Ten Commandments all the time. The Ten Commandments of Social Media Etiquette, that is. Thou shalt not tag someone else's photo. If someone wants their photo tagged, they will tag it themselves. Oh, this is such a cute picture that Kelly uploaded. I'll just go ahead and tag her in it. What? No, I already have that picture tagged in another album. Why do people feel like they have to tag my own profile pictures? She hasn't tagged any of these pictures. You're welcome, Kelly. Thou shalt not tag someone in the comment section of their own post. Okay, so someone will post something online, and then someone else will comment on the post and tag the original poster in the comment, thus giving the original poster not one, but two notifications. You commented on my post, I am going to see it. Which reminds me. Thou shalt not blow up thy neighbor's notifications. Like when you get a new follower on Instagram and they go through and like every single one of your pictures. Fresh. Presh, 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 presh. Thou shalt not quote thyself online. Some people will actually put something they've said in quotes and then attribute the quote to themselves. Don't be healthy to eat organic. Eat organic to be healthy. Josh Taylor, 2014. Thou shalt not be a troll. You know that person who has to comment on every single status update or linked article and express their opinion on the subject. Wow, that's a really interesting article. I'm gonna share it on my wall. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just had to jump in and share my opinion about that article because personally, I think uh. this. I accidentally hit the unfriend button. My hand slipped. Thou shalt not steal by posting someone else's content as if it were thine own. Don't steal photos. Wow, the picture Carly took of the Grand Canyon would make a great cover photo for my profile. Just do a little right click save as she'll probably never notice. Don't steal videos. This YouTube video is hilarious. I think I'm gonna re-upload it to my channel. They'll probably never notice. And don't steal quotes. Now that was a clever tweet. I'll just go ahead and post that to Facebook as if I was the one who thought of it you'll probably actually notice. This is a prime example of plagiarism. And we all learned in school that if you plagiarize, you get an F in life. Thou shalt think twice before posting. Because anytime I see someone write, I am so embarrassed by the stuff that I used to post when I was younger. I want to respond, well, you shouldn't have stopped feeling embarrassed. Your stuff is still pretty rough. Thou shalt not send thy neighbor game requests. In general, the internet is a lot better at keeping this commandment than it used to be. People are finally starting to understand. Oh, hey, my friends don't want me to spam them with urban Farmville fantasy land requests. How about that? Now if we could just get kids under 12 and adults over 55 on board, we'd be good. Thou shalt not subtweet. This one shouldn't be as difficult to uphold as it is. Subtweeting is when you post something that's clearly directed at someone you know, but you don't say it's about them. This is an example of a subtweet. Ugh, I hate when people subtweet. If you have something to say to me, just say it. Thou shalt not spoil what happens on that TV show thou are crazy about. So there's this new piece of technology it just came out last week. I, I don't know if you've heard about it. It's called DVR. A lot of people don't watch TV live anymore. And they haven't for years. Why is this not understood yet? Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that so-and-so got kicked off on such and such TV show. I haven't seen it yet. Why didn't you ask if I had seen it yet? Oh, did you not watch it live? Are you not a true fan? I just got off work. Oh, excuses, excuses. I quit my job for that show. Well, there you go. Just like the real Ten Commandments, if you're a half Halfway decent person, most of these really shouldn't be too hard to handle. But none of us are perfect. Hashtag GPOY! Now go forth into all the social networks and don't be that annoying person that everyone unfollows. Oh man. My name's Chandler Johnson and I'm at the Masters College and I am a proud patron of Blimey Cow. Stay tuned for bloopers! Hey guys, we want to thank Warby Parker for sponsoring our show today. Warby Parker is a website that sells really great looking eyewear at a very affordable price. Their prescription glasses start at $95 and that includes prescription lenses, which is kind of unheard of. They have a super great home try-on program that we got to try it ourselves this week. And I know I'm biased, but I think Kelly looks really super great in the red ones. Just saying. You pick out five frames that you want to test drive and they send them to you and you have five days to try them on and show your friends. 
Then just send the frames back and they pay shipping both ways. If you need some new glasses, check them out at warbyparker.com slash cow and get your free home try on. They actually just launched their fall 2014 lineup and they all look really great. And also, if you use our link, warbyparker.com slash cow, you're going to get free three-day shipping on your final frame choice. And the coolest part for me is that for every pair of glasses that Warby Parker sells, they actually distribute a pair of glasses to someone in need, which is just really cool. So check them out, warbyparker.com slash cow. Thanks, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just had to jump in and, and, and tell you and share. I had to share my opinion. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just had to jump in and share my opinion because personally, I think that this article... Whoops. We're not friends anymore. My hand slipped. Are you not a true fan? I just got off work. I, I quit my job for that show. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not a true fan? I just got off work. Oh, excuses, excuses. I quit my job for that show. <laughs> <laughs>